I would like to introduce you today the project of Buenos Aires Port. It's one of the biggest projects in Argentina that span over 500 years. During the life of that project, hundreds and hundreds of engineers took place. I want to show to you the importance of engineering regarding this specific project. Buenos Aires is situated in South America and the city of Buenos Aires is the capital of Argentina that it was founded as a port in 1580. At that time, the pier comprised a, a shallow, swampy terrain and to complicate things a little bit further, the city is located at top of incline where a lot of heavy silt is deposited by Rio de la Plata and that makes at that time the seaborne access quite difficult. Before the current infrastructure was, was built, uh, vessels need to anchor several miles away, miles away from the shore. All the cargo and people need to be transshipped to a smaller vessel with shallow draft to be uh, reached close to the shore and sometimes even carts were used according to the movement of the tide. As you can imagine that was quite complicated and uh, very costly. The project of Catalinas Norte was introduced. Catalinas Norte was the first pier that was created by land reclamation. It was founded in 1872 and it served uh, Buenos Aires port for about 20 years because in 1988, Julio Argentina Roca, the president of Argentina at that time, commissioned a study for a larger port. Two proposals uh, were done. One was uh, done by Luis, Luis Huergo, that comprised a series of stagger docks, and the other one was uh, proposed by Eduardo Madero, that consists of uh, four impounded docks. After much deliberation and a lot of engineering ideas and people uh, taking part on the decision, the proposal of Eduardo Madero was put forward and as soon as 1889, uh, the first dock was inaugurated. Uh, the project was severely delayed, but however, by 1907, the, the port was inaugurated successfully. By the year 1911, though, uh, the port was struggling to accommodate bigger vessels. The Southern Dock was designed and built. Southern Dock originally was thought to support the trade industry because at that time in Argentina, the biggest refrigerated packing uh, factory was located and Southern Port was originally thought to serve only uh, that industry. Along with the Southern Dock, uh, Luis Huergo's uh, dormant plan for uh, the Stagger Docks was uh, approved and by the year 1925, Puerto Nuevo was inaugurated. It was a bigger port that comprised uh, breakwater, five terminals, and after that a sixth one. And at that time, in 1925, it was not only the larger port in, Ar in Argentina and South America, but also in the Southern Hemisphere. That was a very important step for the economy and, uh, and marked the, the end of Puerto Madero, really. In the last 20 years, it had been a big project of reclamation and all those warehouse and uh, disused uh, terrain was rebuilt and now commercial retail houses uh, have been built and the docks were kept as reflecting ponds. It's now one of the most affluent areas in Argentina. In the year 2000, the, a terminal cruise was built in Buenos Aires that allowed the cruise ship to park and to bring people very close to, to the capital and is today the largest cruise terminal in South America. As you can see, uh, the lifespan of Buenos Aires port is comprised several hundred years and a lot of engineers took part helping to develop this project. That is for me what process engineering is about. It's about finding the solution to the problems of today. It's working together towards a positive legacy for the country, for the economy, for the world, then if you want to be part of this positive legacy, why don't you study engineering?